you're walking down the street, you can find a leather jacket and you're like, what's wrong with this? And it's like missing a zipper pull. It's very easy to fix if you know how. And that actually happens a lot while we're here. Oh, this just ripped. And I'm like, I can fix that right now for you. When I started off, it was just a leather shop and I had all this space in the front. So everyone from the neighbor would be like, can I put some clothes up front while you're sitting here? And now we have 151 vendors and local artists. I want artists to feel like they can have creative license in here and push the envelope. Every Saturday, we let a different artist come and do a pop-up and they get to keep full profits for the day. Los Pinales next door, they make so much stuff in-house, including their tortillas, Belmont books. You never know what you're gonna find literally in there. When you walk in here, you look at the menu and you'll see a lot more of like the idea of the flavor. You know, do you like sweet things? Do you like dry things? Do you like something with a lot of acidity? Something that's a little bit more like robust? And if you don't have any experiences with wine, I can find something that you might like. It's a tavern. <laughs> it's, a, it's like, yeah, I think of old timey times. There's so many good spots here. Daily Fuel, vegan and hearty and delicious. At Daily Fuel, I want people to come in and actually feel like they're eating comfort food, but really it's healthy food. So with our nachos, I did something that's different than I've seen everywhere else. On one half, you have most of all the ingredients, then the other half, you have the chips. You're not having to dig underneath all the stuff and you don't have soggy chips. You can come and know you're gonna have your daily fuel with good food and good ingredients. Radius is a ceramic studio. We have workshops, studio space for artists. Our front check-in area is a retail space. A lot of it is things that are made here by our members, and then we also open it up to the wider creative community. Whether you're curious or you're serious about art, we try to have something for everyone. You come in, you sit down, the instructor does the demo, talks you through it, and then at the end they'll have time to play a little bit on their own, and then they will choose their favorite piece to keep. Each week, they're basically learning a new skill that's kind of adding on and building up. Belmont really has it all. Do you want delicious food? Do you want drinks? Do you want to go shopping? Sweet Hereafter, Mary Sata, they all have tons of vegetarian options. Mary Sata is the world's first and only uh, vegan Sri Lankan restaurant. And we're also the only Sri Lankan restaurant in Oregon. What we're known for is rice and curry, and that's kind of the, the national dish in Sri Lanka. Each dish sort of highlights a different fruit or vegetable or nut or legume. It generally comes alongside with a, a papadam. We're really well known for our deviled dishes. The deviled pork in particular is very popular. It's made with soy curls. Belmont is one of the quieter commercial districts in Portland. It has a much more like neighborhood feel to it. My friend has a food cart up there called Buddy's Steaks. It's an all-vegan cheesesteak cart. Buddy, who runs it, he's from Philly, and he, he takes the authenticity very seriously. We knew we wanted to put a wood-fired grill in. We definitely wanted to make pita bread. Uh, we wanted to make delicious hummus. Barry, our chef here, had rounded it out with, with beautiful seasonal salads and wood-fired vegetables. It's a modular menu, too, so you can choose your own experience. You can have lunch, a pita bread, a, a souvlaki, and a little salad, or you can go big and, and get multiple skewers. The wood-fired grill, I mean, it kind of makes everything taste delicious. It's like cheating. The Greeks do soft serve, and we thought it would be really cool. Really love our tahini chocolate magic shell. A lot of chefs got their start here on Southeast Belmont. I'm just happy to be a part of it. It's all here. You could spend all day working your way from one end of Belmont to the other and want for nothing. 